Hello, dear pupils. This is an English lesson for grade 4. My name is Ivana Krasovic Mandaric and I will be your English teacher today. Our today's topic is a forest story. Do kraja današnjeg sata moći ćete pokazati razumijevanje slušanog teksta o šumskim životinjama. Pravilno ćete koristiti množinu imenica u rečenicama i moći ćete napisati slogan za očuvanje i zaštitu šuma. Get ready for the lesson. You need a notebook, a pencil or a pen, an eraser, a computer or a laptop or a tablet, and a smartphone with a QR code scanner. Anytime you need, you can pause this video lesson and then play it again. Listen and answer. Look at the picture. Where are we? We are in the forest. And what animals can you hear? Listen carefully. We can hear birds singing. Forests are amazing places. They are full of life. Birds live on the trees. They can fly because they have got wings. Let's name these birds. A woodpecker. A woodpecker has got a strong beak. It can make a hole in the tree. A sparrow. A sparrow is a little bird. It has got brown and gray feathers. An owl. An owl flies at night. It can see well in the dark. And look at these animals. Can you name them? A bear. A bear is a very strong animal and it has got very sharp claws and teeth. It sleeps in winter. A wolf. A wolf has got very sharp claws and teeth too. It can run fast. A fox. A fox has got a long tail and whiskers. It can climb on a tree. Let's name these animals together. A rabbit. A rabbit has got two long ears. It can jump high and run fast. A deer. A deer has got antlers on its head. It can jump high too. A hedgehog. A hedgehog has got two small ears, two small eyes and sharp spines on its back. A squirrel. A squirrel can climb on trees. It has got a beautiful long tail. Some animals in forests live underground. Can you see them? A mole. A mole is a small animal. It can't see well. It has got long claws for digging the tunnels underground. An earthworm. An earthworm hasn't got legs and it also lives underground. Many Insects live in the forest. A bee usually flies among the flowers. And look at this beautiful butterfly. Isn't it amazing? And here's a task for you. Listen and answer. What animal is it? Number one. It is a bird and it has got a strong beak. It can make a hole in the tree with it. What animal is it? A woodpecker. Number two. It has got very sharp claws and teeth. It can smell and hear well and run fast. 
Can you say the animal? A wolf. That's right. Number three. It has got four legs, whiskers and a long tail. What animal is it? A fox. Number four. It has got four legs and antlers on its head. It can jump high. A deer. Well done. And number five. It has got two small ears, small eyes and four small legs. It has got sharp spines on its back. A hedgehog. Great job. Let's move on. Listen and answer. What animal is it? Number six. It is a bird and it is very small. It has got brown and gray feathers. A sparrow. Well done. Number seven. It is a bird and it can fly at night. It can see well in the dark. What animal is it? An owl. Number eight. It is an insect and it has got a sting. It makes honey. A bee. Number nine, it has got long claws for digging and it can't see well. It lives underground. A mole. Number 10, it hasn't got legs and it is very small. It lives underground. An earthworm. Well done. Play the game now. U svoje tražilice možete upisati sljedeću poveznicu bit.ly slash forest game one or you can use your smartphone and scan this QR code. In this game you need to match the names of animals and Croatian words. Listen and answer. Think a little bit. And say two or three or more reasons why forests are important. Now pause the video lesson, take your notebooks and pencils and copy these sentences into your notebooks. While listening, Write true or false. Forests are home to many plants and animals. Beautiful trees and flowers grow there. All plants and animals in the forests depend on each other. Birds eat small insects. Squirrels eat nuts. Rabbits eat plants and leaves. And wolves hunt smaller animals for their food. Forests give food to all their living creatures. They also give us fresh air to breathe. People use trees for wood, paper and many other things. Forests are important, not only for plants and animals, but also for people. Check your answers. One, forests are home to many plants and animals. This is true. Two, plants and animals in the forests don't depend on each other. This is false. Plants and animals in the forest depend on each other. Three, forests give food to all their living creatures. True. 4. Forests are not important for people. 
This is false. Forests are important for people. Well done. And here's another task for you. Pause the video lesson and copy these sentences into your notebooks. Then, while listening one more time, fill in the missing words. You can use the words on the right. Forests are home to many plants and animals. Beautiful trees and flowers grow there. All plants and animals in the forests depend on each other. Birds eat small insects. Squirrels eat nuts. Rabbits eat plants and leaves. And wolves hunt smaller animals for their food. Forests give food to all their living creatures. They also give us fresh air to breathe. People use trees for wood, paper and many other things. Forests are important, not only for plants and animals, but also for people. Check your answers. Let's read the sentences together. 1. Beautiful trees and flowers grow there. 2. Birds eat small insects. 3. Squirrels eat nuts. 4. Rabbits eat plants and leaves. 5. Wolves hunt smaller animals for their food. 6. Forests give food to all their living creatures. Well done! Now look at the pictures and say, how many trees can you see? One tree. And now? Two trees. Let's count together. One flower. Five flowers. How many sparrows can you see? Six sparrows. Well done. How many bees can you see? Twelve bees. And how many butterflies can you see? Nine butterflies. Plural of nouns. Množina imenica. One plant, three plants. Uočavamo da imenicama u množini dodajemo nastavak s. One fox, five foxes. Nekim imenicama u množini dodajemo nastavak s. Kao što je, na primjer, ova imenica fox. One butterfly, seven butterflies. Kod imenica koje završavaju na y, a ispred je suglasnik, mijenjamo y u i ispred nastavka s. One wolf, nine wolves. U množini imenicama koje završavaju na f, Mijenjamo slovo F u V i dodajemo nastavak S. One deer, ten deer. One mouse, twelve mice. Ove primjere nazivamo irregular plural, odnosno nepravilna množina. Takve imenice učimo na pamet. Now pause the video lesson and copy all this into your notebooks. And here's another exercise for you. Pause the video lesson and copy these sentences and words in your notebooks. Write the words in brackets in plural. Sada možete zaustaviti video lekciju 
i pažljivo prepišite sve rečenice u svoje bilježnice. Riječi u zagradama napišite u obliku za množinu. Zatim pogledajte video. For curious kids, you can learn a little bit more about the plural of nouns if you watch this video. U svoje tražilice upišite poveznicu bit.ly slash nouns video or you can use your smartphone and scan this QR code. Pause the video lesson. Check your answers. Rabbits eat plants and leaves. Foxes have got long tails and whiskers. Wolves have got sharp claws and big teeth. Deer usually eat leaves, berries, nuts and other plants. Butterflies, bees, bugs and ants are insects. Have you got the same? Great job! For this task, you'll need a piece of paper and some colored pencils. So please prepare them. Write and design a slogan. Napišite i osmislite dizajn svog slogana. A tema je zaštita i očuvanje šuma. Look at these three examples. Pogledajte ova tri primjera. Save forest, go green, plant for the planet. A sada i vi pokušajte osmisliti slične slogane. Ukrasite ih crtežima. Be creative. Dragi učenici, na kraju današnje lekcije ispunite i ovu samo procjenu. Now I can. Mogu imenovati šumske životinje. Mogu koristiti množinu imenica u rečenici. Mogu izraditi slogan na temu zaštite šuma. If this is true for you, thumbs up. This is the end of today's English lesson. Till next time, goodbye.